Within the economic characteristics of airlines, there are certain terminology which is usually mainly in this business. Let me explain you in this short video about it. In the airline business, you will often will see these acronyms. RPAY, RPK, AS, ASK, LF and profit. But let me explain to you this with one example. On these examples, we are going to have a flight which goes from Ankara in Turkey to Istanbul. The distance, the flying distance between two locations is 363 kilometers and it was taken from this website, travelmath.com. For this route, we are operating an Airbus 320, which has 150 seats. In our example, there are 125 passengers who bought their own ticket and three passengers who didn't buy the ticket because they uh, were working for the airline, so they traveled for free. The average ticket price for those uh, passengers paying was 150 Turkish Liras. Average means that some people pay more than that and other people pay less, but as an average it was the amount, 150 Liras. And the total operating cost of that flight, that means fuel, uh, operation, like operation cost of handling, uh, crew and so on, was 17,000 Turkish Liras. But we wanted to learn some terminology here, so let's start. Number of seats is means AS, which stands for available seats. Then we have these passengers, revenue passengers who were traveling, which are called RP. So when, are, when we are talking about revenue passengers, we are talking about passengers. And we are not talking about money in that case, okay? Not money. Then we have lot factor. Sorry, lot factor is not LH, which is the code of Lufthansa, the airline from Germany, but it's LF, okay? So here we are seeing AS, available seats of an aircraft or several uh, flights, depends what we are looking at. Revenue passengers, the passengers traveling and paying for the tickets. And uh, load factor. So if we continue with our example, here we have all the information. Revenue passengers, as we just saw, is 125, we saw just before. Revenue passenger kilometer. It means I take the revenue passengers and I multiply by the distance. In this case, the distance between Ankara and Istanbul, which was 363 kilometers. Available seats. We saw that the aircraft has 150 seats. And the same principle as before, available seat kilometers. We multiply the seats by the distance. And we reach to the locked factor, which is uh, calculated as revenue passengers over available seat kilometers. Okay? For you to have an idea, the lot factor measures how full the aircraft is. So it means if it's completely full, we will have a lot factor of 100%. In our example, we saw that it was 125 over 150, so it's going to be a bit less than that. And finally, profit, we will calculate as total revenue generated on the flight minus total cost. In this case, I multiply 125 passengers paying for the ticket times 150 minus 17,000. And it's equal to a positive number, which is uh, the airline is making revenue on this particular flight of uh, 1,750 Turkish lire. So, summary of our terms. Revenue passengers, we are talking about passengers. In this case, we are not talking about money, passengers. Revenue passenger kilometers, we multiply those passengers for 
the distance in kilometers. Okay? Available seats, again, seats of an aircraft or a several aircraft, depends what is the measure we are looking at, and available seat kilometers times for the distance. Lot factor, I divided how many uh, passengers kilometers divided by seats kilometers. And the largest number is going to be, so this number is going to be less or equal than 100%, because normally we represent it as a percentage. Revenue, how much the company uh, generates, and cost, how much it spends, and profit is just the revenue minus cost. And the profit will be when this is greater than this. Thank you very much.